Okay, here goes my my new setup, and I am using the Bendini circuit, and <clears throat> I'm charging off a charge battery off of it because it seems to keep the circuit a lot cooler instead of just having it go off into a light bulb. It is being powered by the power supply, and as you can see now from my last video, I have four arms on it now instead of two. I've tightened the circle very much so. You can see maybe here the old outline. I've really tightened it up and it's back in uh, repel mode and before I fire it up let me just show you. I've got the two rotor system. This is really close so it, it's really high speed so it takes a little bit of effort to get this guy to sync up with this guy. Once it does though it flies. Let me show you. I'm going to pause this for a second. All right, there it goes. So as you can see, it's pretty much sunk up, uh, it's sunk up, and this guy's got two uh, N52787H Neos. This guy's got four of the same, and you can see it flies. Now, this is 12 volts. This guy stays nice and cool. All the circuitry stays nice and cool. It it, it cured this dead battery. Um. Now, what this means, I don't know. Um, I now have the rotor set up as such where I can actually do something with the spin, whereas before it, span, it spun inside the bearing, now it's actually spinning the entire shaft, which means I can get some kind of work off of this guy. Um, I still want to put um, some hand-wound coils around here with no core, just air core and have them in series or, or parallel. Now you can see it's got some really good speed. Now, obviously I want to try to get the voltage down. This is at 12 volts. I want to try it at five, but I believe if I do it at five, I've got to add two more magnets to this guy. Because right now, again, this is two magnets, four. And it does make a difference. There it goes. So this is what I was shooting for. You know, I didn't want to use anything mechanical, I mean anything like a reed switch. I wanted to do it off of a circuit, off of the, the transistor. And once again, thank you Daft Man. I always want to give credit where credit is due. He did a, an incredible job of making it easier for guys like me. All right, I don't have any speeds for your, you know, it's 12 volts and um, I'm not sure what the amperage is. And, and, and at this point, right now at this point, I'm not that concerned. Um, again, I'm just building right now. I'll take all those measurements later when I need to, when I try to dial this guy down to a lower voltage and still get a significant amount of speed. All right, get it down here, we go. Take a look at that guy fly. And it's funny, because this thing is capable of going a lot faster. It slows down when it syncs up with this guy. But if I were to stop this guy, this thing would obviously speed up tremendously. All right, and I was also able to cure one of my old I was also able to cure one of my old cordless drill batteries, which was a dead battery. Plopped it on the circuit here, on the uh, Bedini circuit, and cured the battery. Charged it up and or fixed it, then I was able to put it back in the charger, and now it charges no fine with no problem. All right, Get down at a little side view here. Okay, you see how I did the spiral? It's just a piece of wood cut L-shaped and again I closed the circuit up so I have much more torque on this now. Yeah, alright. That's it. One more thing, interesting side note. As you can see it's going slower now. I haven't changed anything. What I did was I actually grabbed onto this, slowed it down, let it go, and because this guy is sunk up with this guy, 
it slows it down, but it doesn't, it doesn't stop it. I've done it four times now in the past two minutes where I've held on to this, slowed it down, let it go, and it stayed at the speed. Let's see if I can do it again. You can hear the difference in speed. And see, that's clearly slowed it down, but it didn't stop it. But it's staying at the speed. And I'm also willing to half bet that if I were to speed this guy up manually like this, it'll stay, and it does. And once it syncs up with this guy, I can raise and lower the speed just by putting pressure on this, which I think is really interesting. All right, Let's see if I can get it to go even faster. And obviously I can't. And again, it doesn't affect the speed because this guy is nowhere near its top speed. Hmm, interesting. If I had it, my hands free, I'd really get it going, but it's going fast enough. All right, that was just a side note. Ciao.